morning everybody today as promised the review of the Suran second generation I think Mongolian style bow early Mongolian style bow from AF archery so let's see bow string sleeve nice pack as usual nice leaves Suran and interest and the interesting thing of the Suran wow is max of 37 inches look at this Kishi huh? competitor huh? wow handle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's nice so AF archery Churan, second generation. It's a early Mongolian style. Look at this massive C. This here laminated bow uh, has a length strong of 151 centimeters, which is 59.4, and the string is 147 centimeters, which is 57.9. This bow is 40 pounds, and you can have it from 20 to 50. And the max I said is 37 inches, and no recommendation of arrow weight. Uh, the, the specialities of this bow, the limbs are very wide, they are 42 millimeters, but the arrow pass is still only 16 millimeters. Look at this. And it still seems to be able to make a very sturdy and stable bow. But we see that in a second. And there is no wasted material, a very small knock at the end. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it looks premium, this bow. 63 inches from nook to nook. First of all, you the bow is Bearpaw glass, is black walnut, is bamboo, is ash wood, and has carbon fiber reinforcements in the tips. The price of this bow 339 US dollars, free shipping. Yes, you heard right. And this arrow pass, which looks very nice, I show you in details obviously later, is on the narrowest part up there 16 millimeters but where you have the arrow it's still only 18 millimeters wow I think this is one of the narrowest arrow passes I saw in this color and the handle wow F look at this let's string this pretty bow huh? One. Let's see how easy because we have quite some flex going on. Let's see how easy it is, and I compare it now to a bow like the Kishik. Because you start from a little further back, and you need to make sure that you hold the limbs. They don't, but that they don't swivel around. But it was easier than I thought. Nice. Good morning, birdie. We have a brace head, of course we have a brace head of seven and a half. 480 I would guess. 465. Close enough. 465. Grump. Wow. Look at this ball. I mean, if this bow only does 35 inches nicely, I am more than happy to. 36 inch, Fairbo Netherlands. <laughs> Holy moly, what a pretty bow that is, huh? So let's see. We of course <coughs> see that we reach first of all slowly our mixture. Nice, silent, a little tung, nothing going on here. Oh, nice. Uh, but it was 650 grain, 40 pounds. I guess this bow will have 55 or something in full draw. 
500 grain, so they would be less than 10 grain then. Feel it a little, vibration, but still not annoying. Doesn't feel like dry firing. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, nice. And I prepared some long ones there for my hunk usually. They are quite long and this is a marking at 37 inches. So they are again 600. Oh, I still did not write it 650 or something. Because the problem, the only problem is then finding arrows for this bow. There. Holy cow, and fast, and it vibrates a little in the handle right now. But I give it all oh, the first shots. Oh, my. Yo. I know I should have brought my uh, manchu quiver, but you know. So back there, 30 meters with these long ones. Let's see how it does. <laughs> nice and predictable. Wow. And $340 free shipping. That's a word. Ooh, the, see, they are way heavier. So, they are more lightweight, huh? Yeah, they're quite a little thinner. Yes, so it, it, this boat takes a few shots for this long draw. You need to get used to it first, or I at least. Oh, yup, a bit wobbly still, so the lightweight ones. Ooh. Don't look at me. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, these carbon ones don't fly so good. So, if you like to a long draw bow, but you don't like the manchu kick, this one is the way to go. 57.4. So, and I write it down bit by bit. 30. And this boat rolls like there is no tomorrow. 40.8. 40.9. Okay. Zero. Zero. Forty-five point two, thirty-four. Da, 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 da. Fifty point two, thirty-six. And the string angle is beyond 54.6 and 37 gets a little sticking then huh? fifty seven point five so and you see the last inch, it gets a little sti stiff. But I said, if this bow does 35, like a normal manchu bow, with ease, I would have no problem whatsoever. But of course, due to the design, you see, yeah, not completely there, maybe 30. Yeah, like this. 
at 30 inches we have a string angle of 60 degrees so efficiency wise I don't know 32 34 36 no problem cool and then look at this pretty bow we have a little wider the tips very efficient nice and then here this double layer and here's even a black layer in it the other carbon layer to make the this thin series a bit more twist resistant I guess then this wood pretty and then look at this inlays here with a symbol on it and this narrow arrow pass holy moly and this bow is stiff and sturdy this is this nice leather wrap handle which I like more we know it from AF description craftsmanship wow wow I am impressed such a nice 36 inches it's 55 or something how old, old, whatever it was oops upside down let's see what we get now and it wants to draw now 157 with 650 grain 149 they are 500 grain I think da, 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 500 no 600 I mean 600 grain 153 I think I'm not close even to full draw 154 and 500 grain Still not full draw, 162, so, but this is what you roughly get out of it. I only don't want to shoot now in the opposite direction to these targets because they don't stop these arrows at all. This bow feels really good. But it's no problem to draw this bow back. So I would say 35, nice. 36 is okay. But even 37, but then I reach my limit, so it's. Oh, nice. I still shoot all over the place, so this bow really needs a few shots. Oh, and it's too heavy then for me, huh? In this long neck, in this extended draw length but even string twist and stuff <laughs> the penetration power of this one holy moly <coughs> so 20 meters again <laughs> it's a fun shooter holy moly. i like this one a lot Even if I don't draw full 37 inches, this bow is awesome. <laughs> Look at this. So, fair bow a bit heavier now, yeah. But a little, this uh, high wrist grip. I even feel a nice control of this bow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Incredible. And there is one, two, three. 
I think. So now of course you could think about if the bow would be capable of shooting from horseback. It's 60 inches, so it's it's still fine, I guess. Let's see, I should shoot it more often. Look at this with this handle. Rock solid, no problem. Of course, with long arrows, it's a little fiddly to go come over there, and it doesn't ma <coughs> make that much sense. This one here, you go. Oh, it works. This handle is nice for all these intended purposes. But I'm not sure if you want to shoot a 37-inch bow from horseback, but if you're a big guy and you have a long draw and you feel like, possible. But one thing for sure, this bow is a fun shooter. It's uh, nice to shoot, so it's not like the Manjo we had last time, which kicks. This one is predictable. Hey, targets don't stop anything here. <laughs> Go through <laughs> nice. You feel the string here. It's well, so even if you are you want to do a bit Kyoto style or something, this boat's no problem. 37 inches, you're in a good realm of long draw. Like. And then it shoots, you know. <laughs> it's so cool. And this one, you don't want to put out of your hand. So this one I can't see myself shoot all day long. <laughs> well, not in 37 inches. Look, this is 36. This is just fine. 35 would be fine for me. But then I know I don't max this bow out. See, even a little katra and stuff or works everything. This handle is awesome. So that's definitely a bow I can see myself using a pretty one. Wow. So bow strings leave, no description, nothing, four points. Handling of this bow. I didn't think it is so easy to string, but it's very easy to string and this bow is simply straight. So these reinforcements in the limbs do their job that they don't twist. This bow doesn't wiggle and wobble and nothing. It's a sturdy piece with an extremely narrow arrow pass. Then you have with seven and a half inch brace height, it's just fine. Looks a bit like out of tiller. No, maybe a bit. Uh, just kidding. So, handling easy, 10. And the build of this one is, I mean, you saw the photos. This, these inlays here are not simply a white dot. Incredible, even if I scratched it here a bit. Wow, the transitions here all really wow. String, yeah, string could be nicer. String is a little be done a little nice there we have a few gaps here but okay and I like the handle and feels this like a rubber rice feels very good solid so there's nothing slipping nothing sliding full control of this bow I like this bow uh, obviously 10 then the basic feel of this bow fully balanced fully does and it's predictable so and vibration is almost gone already so I don't even count that in anymore simply go with a little heavy arrows as usual so but with we had less than 10 grain it was still fine but I would go maybe a little higher maybe 11 12 grain per pound then you're on the safe side and this is just an awesome shooter 10 draw experience it's again up to 35 is nice but I think this bow will open up later and there is no tomorrow so there's still I think it doesn't stack at all so it's I only 37 inches I don't reach for my 
but it doesn't feel like. So you saw the draw curve going up after 65, 60, uh, 35, 36 inches, but it's still okay. Impressive and shooting experience. Takes a few shots with a long draw bow anyways, that you know what the bow is doing. But then with this narrow arrow pass, with this brace height, it's a very predictable bow, so you know exactly what this bow is going to do. 10 gives it 54 and price value I give you directly fine it's 339 US dollars free shipping and you get a laminated bow an early Mongolian style bow with wider limbs with a narrow arrow pass it's not the fastest I mean maybe if you draw 37 inches and shoot 10 grain arrows but for this price, and even with this bow, you get a larger code army 10, then you get 10% off, so it's a $300 bow, free shipping. And then this is a price, you can't argue, impressive. So seriously, this one is impressive. I like it a lot. Thank you very much AF Archery for sending this pretty bow to me. It was a joy to test it. It's a joy to shoot, definitely a keeper. But this is 37 inches, it's simply, this is a comparison to the Manchu bows, they all draw 35, 36 inches. And then it's more like for the Dunhuang or the Tang Chang'an. We see, if I get the Tang Chang'an, maybe do a comparison with this one. We see. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and I catch you in the next one.